Hey, this is Neil from Royal Bliss, and you're watching Sagebrush Soul. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You better get ready for Royal Bliss. Everybody, I'm Kenny. This is Sagebrush Soul, and I just wanted to throw a quick video together and say thank everybody that subscribed. We hit a thousand. Still need a lot of viewable hours. Problem is, I haven't had a lot of time to make videos. I've taken on a few more responsibilities at the shop, and I haven't been able to do much editing lately. Uh, I've got a lot of videos from the Ratfink reunion all the way going back to Lake Havasu City with the Monster Truck Insanity Tour and a bunch of shows. But I just wanted to do this one, get it out here, because to celebrate 1,000 subscribers, we're putting on a concert with Royal Bliss and the All-American Throwdown Dirt Drag Nationals. Now you can hear some motors in the background. Those are the drivers that are gonna be racing. We've got everything from locals to pros with the Dirt Drag Nationals. And if I'm being honest, we're actually not throwing the concert just because I hit 1,000 subscribers. And if you look over my shoulder there you can see the little little hauler is here and that is Katie's pulling truck and I said it's a dirt drag not a truck and tractor pull because this event lands right around Skylar and Brittany's birthdays that's usually why we have Royal Bliss for the big concert but they decided to truly throw down at the All-American Throwdown Skylar's gonna be driving his pulling truck two-wheel drive super modified about 2,500 horsepower the wheel speed on this thing is probably close to 130 miles an hour at full tilt, but that's with a big heavy pulling sled attached to it. And Skyler and Brittany are driving them commando today. So uh, Brittany's never even driven shake and break. That's Skyler's sister's pulling truck. So this could be really cool or really bad. So pretty fun day, pretty easy announcing wise, uh, kind of almost like a snowmobile race. So we'll do that for a couple hours. I'll we'll have a brief break, head over and do the concert. Pretty exciting, we got Jason Gish is here. He came down from Oregon to celebrate with us. He'll actually be working and helping in his boy Cam, uh, Mike, the whole gang, we've been apart. We had to split the last two shows. Mike Nasty went to Lewiston, Idaho and Minot, North Dakota, the last two shows that we've had. So got the whole gang back together. But the person that's really put in the most work of all is Andy, he's setting up not only the stage, but he's also got all the sound over there that he and I are gonna be using. He's gonna be helping me announce, keep track of numbers, all that kind of stuff. And he's kind of a comedian. He's a funny dude. And I always talk about him being a great producer, which he is, but he's also a master sound and stage designer. So he's the guy that we set up with all of this stuff. Tim's right over there. He's gonna be, uh, he's doing the lights. And then we got Joel doing the sound for the concert side of things. So we got two whole deals that we got to work with here, but Andy's the best in the business. And if you talk to anybody behind the scenes, any roadies, anything like that, they know Andy. Some of them call him Steven. It's a thing, I don't need to tell you about it right now. But anyway, he's got our stage set up. He's very much in demand. We're lucky that he wants to come and hang out with us and be a part of this deal. Even though most of the footage that you've seen on here about Andy is him being a smart ass. He's actually very in demand, one of the best, and we are very lucky to have him. Another guy that it's uh, business as usual for, not a light day for Kobe. He handles all the front of house stuff. And uh, so he's he's got the same amount of work today as always. I don't get a day off. He doesn't get a day off. Sandy Downs is one of our favorite facilities, not only because it's close to home, but the amount of pride that the people that work here take in this place is second to none. They roll out the red carpet for us. The place is always beautiful. Uh, most of the time we're camped on dirt or gravel or something like that. And this is all grass. I didn't bring the RV up because it's only 10 minutes away and it seems silly to bring it up. But this is one of my favorite places to bring the camper, hang out. Vicki and I have come and done a lot of concerts here. We've done every kind of event you can imagine. We've done demolition derbies, obviously the monster truck shows, and we did a huge concert with Brothers Osborne and Colt Ford for the Eclipse. And uh, they're just great people to work with. Again, kind of our hometown, and uh, just take a lot of pride in this facility and one of the best places that we have the opportunity to work with. And uh, in a way, a partnership with the people here at Sandy Downs.
We are loaded for beer. I mean bear. Stop what you're doing right now. Go to Sagebrush Soul. Hit like, subscribe, follow. Tell all your friends. Do it right now. Like, stop what you're doing. You're on a toilet, you're cooking dinner, lunch, driving. I don't care. Do it now. Then go to Warhead Monster, monster truck stuff on Insta. Same thing. Like, follow, share. Tell all your friends. Do it now. Just a few minutes from pit party. Now we gotta go look at all the trucks and give somebody a hundred bucks for the best appearing vehicle. I get to pick that. You know I like rusty stuff. I also like a clean, well taken care of vehicle. So let's go shopping and see what we can find. I like these. These are very cool. Old classic Broncos like you've never seen them before. That's pretty cool. Love me some square bodies. One I'm looking for, and I'm afraid it might not be here. All Semper Fi is pretty cool looking. Nasty T is hiding under here, but you can't really see it, so how can you win? Um, we're got timing lights, so it looks cool to go, you know, there's no sense, you're not going to red light. Uh, and if you're after the guy, it's still good because you're, you're, you're breaking the beam. We got starting beams, finished beams. It's all based on time. Um, so you get a time in each lane. Um, all odd numbers are on the left. I got a cone that says lane one. All odd numbers on lane one. All even numbers on lane two. I think that's all I got. Kenny's got something real fast. Kenny, we've got another yeah. best appearing award. Absolutely. Uh, I am a sucker for a classic Bronco. So Larry. All right. <laughs> Looking good. Go racing there you go. So that's a quarter tank of gas right there. Yeah. 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 I, think, I think Rick covered most of the safety stuff, but but just to a refresh, um, we take safety very, very seriously here. Um, we, we, most of our shows are monster truck shows, and safety's uh, top priority there, so we bring a lot of that into the dirt drag world. Um, we're learning it as we go, um, but please, 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 like Rick said, Please no hot rodding out in the pits. When you come off the track, let's not be tearing up the grass as we're coming back around into the staging area. Driver's meeting is over. And I gotta go get a radio on. Party foul. Oops. I'm in trouble. Cover. Presenting our national anthem here tonight, the lead singer and founder of Royal Bliss, Neil Middleton. Oh. 
Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in a gay proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet way oh the land of the free and the and now I get to do one of my favorite things and go up and introduce the bands. The bands have canned intros now, which means that there's a musical intro as the band comes on and then they kind of light their own fire. So I have to do this one a little bit different. I can't punch Royal Bliss too hard. So here we go. Why are you so scared? Introducing Royal Bliss. You've announced cool. things your whole life. I know. He's gonna lick your ear for good posterity. Easy, Brian. Easy. And let you know. <laughs> All right, Kenny, words of encouragement. Yeah, for for your, for your great grandchildren. Oh, I got the best job in the world. That's right. That's why we do it. better than drywall. Much better than being a part of this for little productions. And uh, we've been in business for eight years now, and we are moving across the country. We are actually national. We've been to Arkansas. We're going all over the United States, bringing this kind of entertainment. And it all started right here. Royal Bliss was the very first attempt at a concert that we ever did. They've helped train us. They're getting bigger. They're getting better. Our events are getting bigger and better. But on behalf of Skylar Brittany, the owner of Little Little Productions, we just want to say thank you. We know times are hard. We know it's hard to get that money to spend it. We're doing it with us. Ladies and gentlemen, they're getting ready to come up. You better get ready for Royal.
everybody there it is the concert is going i'm gonna go take this off enjoy the party thank you everybody for subscribing thank you for 1000 subscribers uh, i'll throw a little few more clips of the concert up but for the most part i'm gonna put the camera down and enjoy it i'm kenny this is sagebrush soul may the best of your past be the worst of your future watching sagebrush <laughs> you gotta change your name man 